In this example, we're going to create reusable page templates. I'm going to start by just creating a temporary page that we'll use to create our template. Select the master page, front end master, from our previous exercise. And scroll down, and you'll see your temporary.aspx. Let's go to the code behind page. And what we're going to do is change the class name. Now, this is going to give us errors initially because what this is is a variable that is going to be replaced when this template is used to create a new page. And what it'll do is take the name of the page that you give it when you create it and just put an underscore in front of it automatically. Also over here in inheritance, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to create that environment so that when we use this page as a template, that it go ahead and carry over the name that you give the page and automatically put it in the inherits property of your page redirective. Again, don't worry about any errors. Uh, if you try to run the project, you will get errors at this point. Save everything. Let's go ahead and export this page as a template. Again, we want it to be an item template. Go ahead and select your language. Go ahead and scroll down and find your temporary.aspx page. And we don't have to worry about our item references, so let's go ahead and go here and give our site or template a name. Let's go over the quick description. Again, this is the file it's going to create. We don't need to worry about that. It will open up a copy of Explore as part of this export. And in Explore, it will show you the page dot, or the zip file, which is your template. Now, we want to get rid of our temporary.aspx page because it's no longer going to be used. It was just used to create the template. And then we're going to go ahead and create a new page and have it use the template that we just created, which was the temporary.aspx template. Go ahead and click on templates, and you'll see actually online templates, a large number of available temp templates to use on the internet. But what we want to do is use ours. So go ahead and click on install templates, select my base page, go ahead and give it a name, and let's just go ahead and create a test page real quick. Again, we won't be using this anymore, so once you're done with it, you can delete it. But if you're taking a class with me, make sure you keep it and link it on your SOMI website. Go ahead and look at our test page.aspx, and you'll actually see the inheritance property and also the class definition have, auto have automatically created the name of the page, redirected property, as well as the class based on the name of the page. Let's see, test page. 